even though I've enjoyed filming a lot of my adventures. I have also taken a lot of photographs along the way, and some of these photographs have great stories behind them. Photos breathe life. Capturing small moments in time creates so many memories and stories to tell for years to come. I often sit in my bed and look around the room at all the photos and remember the good times, the hard times, and the beauty of God's creation. From a glimpse, the Missouri State Penitentiary has a feeling of historical significance. Located in Jefferson City, Missouri, this place is a total of 47 acres just off the Missouri River. Even though I wasn't allowed to take video, the photographs themselves tell a nostalgic narrative of the past a place that was once thriving with unlawful criminals. Most of these photographs that you will see were taken in Housing Unit 3. Walking in a penitentiary this big, if you just close your eyes, you can imagine a prison that once held 4,900 criminals, predating the Civil War a hundred years older than Alcatraz. Housing famous inmates, such as the likes of James Earl Ray, who shot Martin Luther King Jr., and Charles Liston, who became a famous boxer in the 1950s from this prison. Taking photographs in a place with so much character gives me chills. If I was allowed, I could spend days in here taking unbelievable photographs. One thing that struck me was the size of some of these cells. Many housed up to four inmates at one point with no heat or air condition. That's just crazy. There are also several really amazing stories about this place, but I'm only going to talk about one today. One story is about James Earl Ray, who I mentioned previously. One year before he shot Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968, he escaped this prison. On a Sunday morning early one day, he reported early to work in the prison bakery. Apparently, he got into one of the large boxes used to ship bread, and a farm truck picked him up and this is how he escaped, later shooting Martin Luther King Jr. This photograph is a collection of stolen and handmade shanks that the prisoners made throughout the years. I encourage you to go visit this place and hear more about the amazing stories because it was unbelievable. I also encourage you to spend some time researching local places like this. You never know what you can find. If you would like to see the collection of all these photographs I took, you can go to my website, coltbryanfilms.myportfolio.com. Also, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know if you guys like this. This was episode one. I plan to make more videos. Um, based on photographs and the stories behind them. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys next time.